Hi and welcome to my Rand's Ruminations. Uh, so, I want to address this to death. What the fuck, dude? Seriously? You take everyone's granddad, Leonard Nimoy, you take Terry Pratchett and everyone's scary badass Uncle Saruman all in the same year. Are you fucking kidding me? I mean, what the fuck? Not to mention, how in the hell did you grow balls big enough to go after Christopher Lee? I mean, come on. The guy was a member of the original SAS. That's... You know you just got him back to your place and he decapitated you and took your place, right? He's now riding around on Binky with that badass scythe and the really cool sword. You do realise that. You do realise that Albert is now calling him boss. On the other hand, that does mean that I have this image of Christopher Lee sitting around a table with Terry Pratchett and Leonard Nimoy playing cards. And neither of the other two have the balls to let him lose. Yeah, um, I don't generally talk about the deaths of celebrities and what have you for a simple reason. I don't think it's right to piggyback on the genuine grief of other people, which is what happens when you, as a non-related person, talk online in blogs or video blogs about the death of somebody else. Everyone knows that men like Leonard Nimoy and Terry Pratchett and Christopher Lee are going to be missed by millions, possibly billions. I mean, these are people who had a profound and direct effect on numerous people, actually uncountable numbers of people. I would be perfectly honest. For a long time, the only thing that stopped me from killing myself at one point was the fact that next year I knew there was going to be a Terry Pratchett and I wanted to read it. That's not a lie. And his last book is being released, I think at the end of this month. It's going to be years before I buy it. I need to know that there is a Terry Pratchett out there I haven't read yet. It gets me through the bad days. And I have a lot of bad days. Christopher Lee, his movies get me through actually weirdly the good days <laughs> I love to watch his stuff when I'm in good form best time to watch him Leonard Nimoy Leonard Nimoy made it cool to be a geek no really he was the one that made it cool to be a geek you had this guy who was known for doing actually westerns and bit parts in westerns and he becomes the ultimate geek and the ultimate geek symbol and he probably will be for a very long time. It's going to take someone incredible to step into the shoes of Leonard Nimoy. I mean, we're talking about a man who at a, con at a, at a convention basically invited anyone who wanted him to be an adoptive granddad to let him know. You know, that's that's a level of dedication to the fandom, to geeks and nerds and the outcasts of society that goes beyond, above and beyond everything. And, you know, okay, they are going to be missed. They're going to be terribly missed. But we're not entitled to piggyback on the grief of their families and friends. These men, and no shortage of women either, Anne McCaffrey, one of my personal great heroes and I I miss seeing new books by her terribly but they're not our family we're their fans we love what they produce we love what they create but they are not our family and we are not their family and we have no right to piggyback on their grief none so, everyone is probably thinking right now, but you're recording a video blog on the Sunday immediately after Christopher Lee died. Yeah, because I'm not going to be doing this again. I'm not going to be recording... If I record about the death of someone famous, it's going to be a few weeks afterwards, at the earliest. I... And this is the reason why. I refuse to piggyback on other people's grief. 
No, um, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, Monday was supposed to be The Lost Vikings. For some reason, my computer will now not play it for some random reason. There was an update to Windows, and I, there was also an update to something or other. I can't remember what, but it seems to have screwed with it. I will get it running. It just will take me a while, so it's going to be The Lost Vikings this week. Um, I have got a really nice Flash game. I'm going to do a, a quick drive-by review of. It's a really, really good one. I love it, and I think a lot of you will too. Uh, Wednesday, Portal 2. Uh, Friday, Dark Souls 2. Actually, a really good episode. And, um, yeah. Oh, and I hope you all enjoyed Diablo 2 yesterday. So, I am going to go and, uh, actually, I think I'm going to go watch a movie. So, I will talk to you all again on Tuesday. Have a great day. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. And, um, let's all respect the grief of the families of the great men we all miss. Great women, too. Bye.